to the box of cards just taking place with the legendary, what will become legendary, I'd imagine, all female fight cards. So, like we always do, we'll start cantering our way through, and we're due to be joined by a few more, but I'll start off with the introductions. Good evening, Sean. Good evening. Good evening, Andem. Good evening, fellas. So what we'll do then, as we normally do, hand it over to Ande. We'll start taking it through the card. Uh, over to you, Ande. I only saw it from the live shows, lads. I didn't see any of the, the YouTube stuff. So No, neither did I. Okay, so we'll just go from that then. Um, Karis Artisol <clears throat> against Marina Sakharova. Or Sakharov, sorry. Um. I was really, really impressed with Karis. I thought she was fantastic. I thought she took a couple of rounds to get settled, but once she was in a groove, outstanding. Uh, we've got some real talent coming through, haven't we, from these um, from these amateurs? Sean, how did you see this fight? Yeah, I agree. I thought she was impressive. I, I guess she sort of all oh, only done what was put in front of her, but um, I, I thought we saw her class and. Uh, and I guess that uh, what we want to see from her next is um, a, a, an obvious step up. But um, I, I think at the end of the day, um, it's only a second fight, was it? So yep. hopefully we see um, a step up for her next time. And then, I don't know, in 12, 18 months time, her maybe getting a world title fight. <coughs> I was just about to say, oh, he, he turned the light back on. Yeah, I com I completely um on instinct turned the light off there for some reason. I don't know why. Listen, Jack, all I'm gonna say is this is a professional outfit. Please sort your camera out before coming on stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm Jack, we're morning. talking about um morning, okay. Jack, we're talking yeah, about uh I, I'm joking, Jack, but yeah, yeah. you know, sort of out. Jack, we're talking about uh Karis Artist still. I was impressed with her tonight, you know. I, I, I considering was it a second fight? Yeah. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. You know what? I think it was the right fight at the right time. Uh I think maybe eight she's probably eighteen months away from a world title. I'd like to actually see her go for the European title first. I um I know some <laughs> I know it's not necessarily that there's a pathway in boxing, but I'd actually quite like to see her win everything like everything that's sort of available um and i think you know what i i was impressed with it uh, i think she's molding into the pro game quite nicely colin what do you think <coughs> about what do you think about a shot selection well she was sh sitting down the shots a lot tonight wasn't she you know it felt like she was putting getting behind each one to be honest um the body shots were really good tonight i'll give it that i thought she went to the body quite well but again it's all relative because let's just calm ourselves down because the opponent durable um only been durable stopped, journey woman isn't she only been stopped once in 16 fights but yeah. uh, i'm just i'm just i'd just like to um Reserve my view, really, of how good she's going to be until she steps up a few levels a little bit. That that's fair enough. Oh, thanks, Jack. Thanks. Yeah, no, no, I, I actually, <laughs> I, I've been agreeing with you too much this week, and it's annoying me. <laughs> yeah, it annoys just, me, let, Jack, when I have to agree with him as well. To be fair, let's just not put too much pressure on her. Let her, let her learn learn the pro the pro game. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with I agree with you, Carl. I, I agree with. <laughs> With uh, Jack as well, though, to be fair, that it was probably the right opponent at the right time. You know, we, we put a little bit, sometimes we put a little bit too much pressure on these uh, matchmakers and, and promoters on these shows because we want to see, we want to see a war for every fight, don't we? And you can't do that when, when a fight no. has only had one pro fight. No, there wasn't much coming back from the opponent was there, but you wouldn't expect it to be at this stage of a career. No, they've got, they've got to have these fights under the lights they've got to have certain it's it's when the it's when they have 10 of them that that, that becomes a problem but they're going to move on pretty quickly because she's too good for that anyway i think it's less of an issue in female boxing than it is in males and i'm by the way i'm going to stick up for matchmakers here 
we are told what to put them in with. Like, so I'm told <clears throat> they want. I want a durable journeyman. I want rounds. I want this. I want a southpaw who's six foot three. You know, it's you. You, you get. You don't always listen. You don't. Jack, you don't always listen, though, do you? Because some of you don't get bombed out in the first round, don't they? Are we making a reference to the fact that I accidentally booked Van Pooch tonight? Yeah. I didn't mention any particular fight, did I? <laughs> I knew that was the reference. and Yes, uh, that didn't exactly go well. Congratulations, Pooch, on winning again. <clears throat> so, yeah, so she, she did what she was supposed to do, didn't she? To be honest. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, swiftly moving on then. Caroline Dubois um, against Kaliva, I think her name, her name's pronounced from Bulgaria. Bo- Melina Kaliva, yeah. Um, I, I think I think we've seen a massive improvement in one fight from Caroline Dubois. A massive improvement. I <coughs> thought her head movement. I thought her defence was so much better. She's still loading <clears throat> up on on every shot. Um, because she's 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 capable, she's got the power, she's very quick. But what impressed me more about what she did tonight was her defense and, and the way she negated what this girl was throwing back because because she was there, she was durable, she was there to fight, she wasn't she wasn't just there to take shots. Again, great yeah, matchmaking you on Thursday was true, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, because I'm the ultimate. Because I'm the ultimate professional, I've got a few notes that I was making during the fights. I don't just come on here and wing it like other people. And I made a note that says, round three, she really had a go her opponent, didn't she? Round three, yeah. she really had a go. So, unlike Arton Scott's opponent, at least Dubois' opponent came and had a go. So, but Sean, sure, what do you think about it? <clears throat> yeah, I think it... I think it probably was uh, the right opponent for her at this uh, stage of her career. Um, you know, and she's yet to be tested, really, but what we've seen of her so far is very impressive. And, you know, I know the females are hard to judge how far they can be progressed. But but I think, you know, maybe in, I don't know, 12, 12 to 18 months, again, she's one that, that I can see her become a world champion and, again, dominate her weight division. I mean, I thought the body shot was beautiful, that shot under the elbow. You know, I'm sure Andy will go on to say that was Shane McGuigan that's taught her that, you know. But what a shot that was. And that was the beginning of the end, wasn't it? You don't, re- you don't recover from them shots. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely, yeah. And again, with her, <coughs> uh, I guess the criticism that she may have is she's not very, you know, charismatic or, or no. you know, popular, but... But but I think her boxing does her talking for her at, at least, and you know I think people will grow to become a fan of her because what she does in the ring. Daniel's not a great talker though, is he? No, no. Honestly, I think the best thing with Daniel is is not to put a mic in front of him because when he does, You're like you, Jack. Yeah, basically, <laughs> because the difference is I'm going to say something controversial that gets people cancelled. He's not going to do that. He's just not going to say anything. The, th- the thing is, he, Daniel Dubois is not the only heavyweight that, that can't talk in front of a mic. Oh, no. no. There's quite a few that can't. Um, but back to Car- back to Caroline. <clears throat> if this opponent... I hadn't, have, I hadn't have tried to put it on her in, in a couple of those rounds, especially round three, like, like Cole said, <clears throat> you wouldn't have seen the improvement. Because she's definitely improved defensively. Uh, we, we we said last time we called her out on the fact that she was getting hit too easily. She didn't get hit too easily this fight. Because even Maybe though she, she was very aggressive, boxing, then. even though she was very aggressive, um, when the shots were coming back, she her defense was so much better, so much better. And yeah, I am gonna I am gonna call it Cole. That's down to a coach. Goes without saying, doesn't it? Of course it does. <sighs> yeah, it it. She had that McGuigan style, didn't she? Let's let's be honest. With this, with the way she was defend, defending, it it was the first time I've really noticed it. She had the Shane McGuigan style, and it worked for her. It works like some fighters. It doesn't work, but for her, it definitely does work. There's some fighters it really suits, and she's one of them. Uh, I, I actually think 
depending on <clears throat> depending on what happens with the with the light the lightweight division because it could all come become very split fairly short <coughs> i actually think she wins a world title early than 18 months i think she's got i think she's got it all mate <clears throat> I really do. she's only 21 isn't she so you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so they might not time. rush her because she's only 21 maybe not me but but why hold her back if she's if she's ready yeah if she, if she can keep going through people i mean yeah. you've got to, you've got to think I, I know it's a different sport the amateurs to to, to the pros but all of that experience <coughs> that she gained in the amateurs you've got to, that's got to stand her in step in good stead that's like her having 10 pro fights again because she's she's probably fought better amateurs than than the opponent she's in with now let's let's get this right though um <clears throat> she is uh the way she'll move to a world title will be if katie vacates there's no that's way they're going to ever no. feed her to katie taylor no that's why i said it depends yeah. what happens with, with the light that, with yeah. the lightweight division yeah 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 uh, and to be honest and i hope i'll be really sad when it happens but i think katie's probably got two three fights left at the most that... yeah at the most that's what i'm saying she might only have one left i I, I'll be sad when it happens because I think Katie's been an absolute trailblazer for, um, for the sport. Right, but there's a danger. Probably... But the, the challenge is though, Jack, in my view, I wouldn't want to see. Her, I wouldn't want to see her hang around too long because you could well get beat to a yeah, fight yeah, that yeah. would never to a fight that would never lace the glove when she was uh, in a prime. That's something that I've seen fighters do down the years, and I don't like it. And um, I, the one person you can never beat is Father Time. Eventually, time will catch anyone. And if Katie times this right, she could go out as undisputed champion. Michaela May is on about wanting it, isn't she? <clears throat> that would be a bad fight. Uh, I don't think the styles will flash very well, Jack. I don't think the well, styles will flash very well. It probably won't actually be that good of a fight, I don't think. Uh, it do, might do, not why, be do you think that's an easy night, night's work for Taylor? No, that's what I mean. I don't think it'll be that entertaining, though. Right. I don't think the styles would mesh to make it entertaining. I don't think it's an easy night's work for anyone. Yeah. When we get there, I'll tell you what how I had that scored tonight. <laughs> so go on then, Jack. If you was matchmaking Katie Taylor's last two fights, she's, say let's say she's only got two fights left. If you was yeah. match matchmaking her last two fights, what would you? Do? Right. Well, she's the next one's packed, but pretty much locked in, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Got the mandatory defense. So. Um, I would do the Serrano Toronto? rematch. Toronto rematch. That's the only fight out there, isn't it? Let's be it's honest. It's the only one that makes any sense. Because the <clears throat> Cyborg one doesn't make sense when Cyborg hasn't boxed. The uh, the Holly Holm fight would have made sense if Holly Holm wanted... But she would need a warm-up, and therefore you're going to be waiting around again. Because Holly Holm was a world champion. So if Holly Holm wanted to come back and do the fight with Taylor... Great, but it doesn't make sense now because Taylor would have to then wait a year almost. And by that point, are yeah. we really getting the best of either of them? No. So then, so to me, the Serrano fight would be the one, the Serrano rematch would be the one to go out. <laughs> and to be honest, I'd do it in Vegas. Dangerous fight. They just boxed in the two biggest venues. No, they'll go, they'll they'll go to Dublin. Or go to Dublin and do it there. Great Park. It's got, it's got yeah, to be in Ireland. Ireland. If, if they did it in Ireland, I'd go. If they do it in Vegas, I'd go. Because I genuinely love that fight. It's, it's, got, it's got to be in Ireland. But I'll be honest with you, Jack. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Katie Taylor wins that fight. <laughs> it, it would be the hardest fight that she could go out on, I think. She might do if it's in that Ireland. wouldn't be losing to someone she shouldn't do. That's the thing. That's the difference for me. Yeah, yeah. Serrano was always... It was her and Serrano the whole way through anyway. So if she lost that, then it's not she stayed around too long. It's she lost to the other one in the era. One Serrano one. Would have, if it's in Ireland, Serrano would have to knock her out to win. 
Pretty much, yeah. I, I don't like that, by the way. But if you're if you're a right, matchmaker, yeah. if you Sorry? if you're a matchmaker though, Jack, or you're a manager or you're a promoter, you wanted to go out on a, on a win. Are you really going to chance? No, I want to go out on a win. Then I probably do two la- two mandatory defences, but make the last one in Ireland. But the the problem is she can't go out on that. She doesn't deserve. Like even someone like Bellew got credit for going out on Usyk. Like that's the thing. You you have to, when you've had a career where you've you've been world champion, you've been considered one of the best in your weight division. You have to go out on a big fight. Win, lose, There's only or, one sensible, sensible fight, isn't it? And that's Serrano over in Ireland. Yeah, you know, the, Serrano's the, the most sensible Serrano, fight, and that's the, the fight I would here. go out on. There's a, there's that's a, the fight a, as a matchmaker that I would be pushing. As a matchmaker, that would be the fight that I would push as a retirement fight, yes. Okay, let's... Um, we've, we've Obviously, we've got off... Gone off track as we do on this yeah, show, yeah. Uh, um, which, which is which is great. But let's get let's yeah. get back to the main let's get back to the main yeah, card. Yeah. Um, so, Lauren Price against um, Bellic. Now, Lauren Price is outstanding, as we all know. Yeah, we've we've just said the first two fights were great matchmaking, the right opponent at the right time. I've seen some some comments on on Twitter during the fight that that this girl didn't be, didn't belong in the same ring. She's a European um, title challenge. I think that's a bit harsh. Uh, yeah. yeah, I thought it was a bit harsh as well. Uh, but yeah, there was a number of them on Twitter saying that. Well, you can Does it the just want her to fight Bavington for the European title in her second fight? Was was it that Lauren that's... Bryce just made a look completely out of a depth? Yeah, Jack. but there is no... So, she's just lost to Bavington for the European mm. title. Like, she's she's been in. She got a draw with the girl, the the former European champion who went on to... who vacated to fight for a European title, uh, for a world title. What more, what more like, of a level of opponent can you put her in with? Without no, I agree. putting her right. in with Bavington. And, I'm and not saying... Not that I'm not saying I'm not saying yeah. that, that that she didn't belong in oh, there. No, I'm, I'm not saying that's what I, what I saw on Twitter. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying to people on Twitter, from a matchmaker's perspective, where do you go? No, you can't put her in with Bavington because a she's not going to do it without the belt, and you're not going to put her in a ten rounder in her second fight because that would be suicide. I thought Bellic, whatever her name was, had a bit of success in the couple of rounds. I'm not saying she won she, the rounds. She had a obviously. little bit, not, but. For the for the for the, for the where, where Lauren is in her career, I thought that was quite an active fighter to throw in with. Yeah, I did. I thought I, I thought it was the it was a I thought it was a risk prior to the show. I mean, to be fair, it turned out not to be. But when they announced it, I was a bit like, "This is a bit of a weird one on your second fight." Like I I could think of names off the top of my head that are less active than Bellic that I would have probably <laughs> have opted for. And we've got an exclusive, haven't we, Andy, that you're going to um, support Dan Stanard in his next fight is Elton John singing I'm a Rocky Man. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get on to that in a minute. Let's, just... right. we'll get have to to minute. Let's, let's finish the predictions and the and the comments for this. Uh, and this yeah, is yeah. Sky Sports um, News tickle on the bottom, don't I? And then we'll news. talk about we'll talk about the debacle that was Whatever that was, in a minute. Um, yeah. Sean, do you think the fight was stopped too early? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it was always going to to, to end up in in that fashion. But I think you know, with her price herself, <clears throat> and she she obviously needs to get up next. But um, uh, unfortunately, in 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 the women's game, as we know, there's a golf in levels. There's where she is fighting now and then there's where the world champions are and unfortunately there's not too many in the middle which i think is probably something where they suffer from sadly but um i I think it was probably about right and let's hope she gets another fight before the end of the year to see where she is then i am 
I, I thought Lauren could have made the fight a lot easier for herself. I think she smothered her own work a little bit. I think she... I'd agree with you on that. Yeah, I think she... Um, I think she made life a little bit difficult for herself. She... She could have kept the fight at, at distance and won comfortably and probably got a stoppage earlier. Um, you know, there were shots that weren't landing that would have landed normally. Whoa, okay. Francis, how are you? No, guys. No, I... it, it's, it's, not got... a it's not a strip show, mate. What's yeah, going on? That's, <laughs> that's, that's, mean, I, that's why I've joined the I've just got out of the bath, man. <laughs> I thought I'd join you to see what's going on. Right. But, you I heard your comments you about the that. Camera up high, then. Can you see me now? Go on, Francis. Yeah, go on. See, right. yeah. I heard your comments about the, the right opponent. I thought it was, I disagree. I thought it was shocking, apparently. Uh, for I, what? For Lauren Price? No, yeah, I, I wait a minute. She's completely damaged your boxing. They do you know what I mean? She knows the game inside out. That last, she didn't, couldn't even throw a jab properly. She's, yeah, but as I said, me. she literally fought for a European title in her last Yeah, but fight for a European title or not, doesn't matter. I've seen the death, death, the talent pull in the women's game. It's not strong. So, hang do on. What I mean? Do you want, what, you want Lauren to basically go, because the only way to do it, because you're not going to put her in with a world champion. No, obviously not. You don't. I agree, you build them up, but she needs a better chat. Uh, like, she needs to ask a few more questions. No, she's completely damaged with boxing. Do you know what I mean? She's no novice. Long will change all yeah, boxing in the world, take them three pipes. The next level up from Bellic is the European champion. You can't well, put that's her in for a European title. Who's who who is who is even is a European champion? Kirsty Bavington. Because it's not strong. The, the talent pool in women's boxing is not strong. I don't care what I, mean, I suppose. There is one fighter I could think of from Britain that you could have put her in with, but she's not going to do it because she's two and oh herself. Who, who's that? That would be Nicola Bark, but you you wouldn't. Uh, well, that's, I think that's about. Probably would take the fight, but when you, in my opinion, right? I'm not saying I'm right, by the way, because then there's different opinions in there. But in my opinion, if you complete amateur boxing like she has, look at Lomachenko. Well, he fought for well taking his third fight. He fought a number one ranked born in his first fight. Do you know what I mean? You've got to believe in yeah, your body. He's the exception, though, not the rule. Like, no one could... I don't know. Maybe I'm just being harsh. Maybe I'm being I harsh and maybe I'm being conservative. You can get away with it. You can get away with it other points. But Lauren Price, she's completely damaged your boxing. She's won everything. She needs better tests than that. <clears throat> that was a real protest. I, th I think they'll move it quite quickly now, though, Francis. I think they need to make us. I think better points will bring out better in the air. Do you know what I mean? She's going to go in an eight rounder and then possibly go for the European title. To be honest, yeah, I don't think I, like I don't believe she should hang about too long. Like, and don't, don't forget, she, she's twenty eight as well. She's not. It's not a young yeah, girl. Yeah, she's not she's young. 28. She's not Caroline She's been so. the prime of her life, and she. Do you know what I mean? So the difficulty is though. The difficulty is Francis that that was only a second pro fight, and, yeah. and she's she's fought without any dis disrespect. She's probably fought better opponents in the amateurs. Oh, definitely. Yeah. 100% she has, but... but, but, but think... Like Jack's just said, I, I've got to agree with Jack to a point. What do you do? You know, you, you, it's a second pro fight. I know, I understand. What, what, you're, saying, what, what you're saying is right to, to a certain degree, because... The, because you're stuck, the you're stuck between a rock and hard place, aren't you? What? you are, the, women's, the women's game is, is improving dramatically. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, it, it's, it's, it's gone to levels and levels and levels. But I think in ten years that'll be different level. Listen, the the quantity and quality at the same time is there at certain no. levels. But like, there's, there must be someone around the world. Like, could, let's be honest, she couldn't. She looked like she couldn't throw punches whatsoever. Like, it looked like she was struggling when she was trying. The oh, the last of all on the show, the, the army girl, can't think of her name. Air opponent, that's a decent test. Karis Artin stuff. Yeah, she was a decent test. She had. Do you know what I mean? That's like fair yeah. play. That was a level above a price ad, in my opinion. Whether for the other last of all for you, being like, oh no, we can all uh, sell Dusters gold, can't we? Eddie Ed's a master. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's why I never ever give Marshall a chance tonight because it's about, it's about levels. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you never... Okay, swiftly moving on uh, to uh, actually, before we do, Carl's had a bit of a pop at me on Twitter. He thinks he's funny. This so is, this I had a, and we all know Francis is not funny, right? Have you got your so, piping slippers on? Here, here comes so, granddad. So, come on, granddad. 
is is our asset, right? I'm old I school. Go for boxing. Bob, bro. I do not <laughs> want to turn a I do not want to turn a boxing show on. Oh, is this some... about them having a random concert? Uh, yeah, and watch some guy. I thought it was the I turned it on yeah. I, I do not want to turn on a boxing show and watch some random guy. Do you know what I don't agree with as well? Which is quite a big part of boxing now. Is it interfering fights before a fight in the change of rules? Yeah. You're you going yeah. in a battle. See, Do you know what I'm, mean? not, I'm not a fan of that. Like I don't because, agree with that. I don't think... You're in that, code. Like, I you're think you have a fight being that mindset, like, aren't you? You're going to battle, you don't. Sky, Sky do it more than other more than other platforms. If I was a if I was a fighter, I mean, Francis, you're better it. than anybody else. You're no better than anyone, anyone else with, with, with your career, but um, if I was a fighter, I'd want to be getting in that zone. I wouldn't want that's what I'm saying, mate. It's like something. because because as soon as that fighter stops, he might have just done a couple of rounds on the pads. But as soon as that fighter stops, or or she stops, I should say, you're cooling down. Then you lose the thought. Waiting, waiting for a camera to roll for a couple of minutes. Then you've got. To... I, it... think, I think it's your boxing management who should step in with a broadcaster and tidy all that up before the fight. Well, night. That's what I'm saying, mate. The yeah, coach, that, or even the coach. The to be honest, they, they shouldn't to... stamp in there out as a team, shouldn't they? Like I wouldn't have that, mate. No chance. Um, the cut... To be fair, it's um. I, I do know of management, and I'm not going to name them on here, who won't allow cameras in the changing room. That's because he obviously has his fighters' best yeah, interest. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, there's an individual and uh, who I know of 100% will not allow any cameras in the changing room. Uh, like, he's basically... The only people who can go in their dressing room would be the team... And the matchmaker, if need be. So That's I can right, watch yeah. that there if I'm the matchmaker of a joke. But they don't really like you being in there. They just. Do you know what is the, the closest thing out this grab right? A boxing cage room before you're waiting to go in that ring is it's a bit like death waiting room. Honestly, it's, it's, a brutal, it's the most brutal part of like, the fight. Once you start with that ring box, you know, I asked for waiting for it. You do not want to be sat there, loads of photos, like answering questions about like, to, to sell the fights of people sat at home. Do you know what I mean? It's not having been that's in not... a changing room before guys be, have gone in fights. It's it's a strange place to be. Yeah, that's your, it's cold, dead. it's weird. It's so it weird. Is weird. Like, uh, you know, as well, they've done all this in fight week. They've I know. All these, all yeah. these interviews. They've, they've answered all these questions in fight week. It was you don't weird. need a mic in your face, mate, before a fight. It's the last thing you need. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're thinking about winning and I think like. Get through what you've got ahead. It's a scary place to be here as well. As well, it's a thing they do over there, and I don't like like it over there. So I'm not really sure if I like it. I well, I think it's been signs of British boxing turning like a bit like WWE for years, and it's coming close. Like the concerts in the middle of you know, shows, and they do it in Vegas and stuff. And they used oh, to Carl, do it Carl, Carl loves a nice sing sing song in the middle of a boxing card, mate. Well, actually, Andy, I, I never gave my opinion. I just says that you're acting a bit like a granddad. No, why, do about I, music. why am I acting like a granddad, mate? It's a boxing it's, show. It's all about the event for me. So what did you I'm score the main fight? I'm not a fan of him, but I think it's about building the event. Is it really? We'll Is get it there, really? Because as far as I'm concerned, what I saw was the crowd dropped. How long did it the, take? For, for me, right? For me, How the long way did I it saw take? it. What? How long was he on for? Two long. Ten minutes. How long? Ten minutes. Two long. Does that, does that make such a vast difference? It's definitely too long. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tell you why it did as well. If you let me talk, I'll tell you what why it did. Because it dropped the crowd's momentum. None of them wanted to watch him. It was shit. I put it on mute. <coughs> to be honest. He was shit. I put it on he mute. Sing. I do for the national anthems no, as well. Whether, I, whether, whether, whether I know him or oh, not, no, I, I like man or not. It, 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 there's no place for it in boxing. There was a difference between him singing that and having Sweet Caroline on. Because the crowd got to get involved with Sweet Caroline. And so they picked the wrong artist. They might get a different artist next time. What about our like, like Ryan, I said to you please? on Twitter, like I said to you on Twitter, they could bring Michael Jackson in. They could bring the Beatles in. They could bring Led Zeppelin in. Makes no difference. There's no the place for The thing you were saying about... I what about our yeah, Predictor yeah, Ryan? That's, Lee, that's, that gets a crowd whipped up. That's Warrington's ring walk, though. That's not... That's Warrington's ring walk. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, they've done it live before. Yeah, but that's part so of... Yes, it might have been the wrong artist. It might have been the wrong artist, but to get it right, there is a place for it. 
No, there's not. Yeah, well, get no, there's not, mate. I've got. I, 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 let's well, get the, let's get the beach, mate. Out and then keep playing sweet Caroline. That'll that'll work. Well, it does work, don't it? Obviously. That's why they do it. Let's not try I'll, nothing I'll, new I'll then in boxing. You, let's not try I'll nothing new. Right artist. I'll, that's the concession. I'll, I'll tell you what, then. Let's let's um, you know, let's let's let's, let's, let's have the biggest artist. Let's have the biggest artist in the world. Let's have the biggest artist in the world playing at. Glastonbury, and halfway through, let's get a boxing ring. Halfway through, let's get a boxing ring on stage. <laughs> can I, can I match make a fight randomly at Glastonbury? Yeah, you it's might be. Like it's, a joke, it's a joke. Carl, it's a joke, mate. It, there's no so, need for so it. So we're not trying nothing new ever again in boxing, then? Is it boxing, could, though? Could One we, week, could we try to in boxing, we're doing something fresh and new. Then he tried something like this, it didn't work, admittedly. And we're all hammering him for it. No, Carl, well, you're not. Carl, I am. Oh, can we shit. have some competent scoring? That would be new and fresh. I know, yeah. Went, come on, Bernie tried it, though, be, because, uh, because of the event it was, you know. Um, I, I suspect that they thought there was a load of families and kids there and and, and, uh, and they tried it. But ultimately, you know, can you can you imagine, say, if Fury books AJ and then that geezer come on, you know, it, it would get bottled or something, wouldn't he? So... Fury what? You know, uh, Tyson um, thingy. Tyson Roy Jones did it randomly. Yeah. That was that was an exhibition shit, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was an exhibition. That's thing. a different well, thing. Which I still watched because I thought it was quite weird that in 2020 we were watching Ty Mike Tyson and Roy Jones, and the we're opportunity talking, Jack, to watch Jack, Mike Tyson with my dad. Jack, was quite Jack, we're talking about the most historic boxing show for for women's boxing. Yeah, no, I, I'm not saying it was a good idea, by the way. <laughs> it just, I'm just saying it has it's been not a personal done opinion. It just doesn't work. It doesn't yeah. matter whether I knew the artist or not. I didn't, but it doesn't matter whether I did or not. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I did. I, 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 just, I, did, I, did, really, well, I did a bit of a sing song. I did. mate. Brilliant. I'm glad you did. Yeah, I did. I'll, 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 really tell you, I'll tell you what. I'll, 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 get to, I'll, I'll get on the phone to. I'll get on the phone to Carl Reeves. I got the phone to Carl Greaves and I'm sure it'll be an artist. I'll sing for Carl, like if Carl wants me to sing on his show, I'll do it. Oh man. Like There'll be loads more tickets sold. Yeah, of course. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, actually, fantastic. can we please not give the idea? Because otherwise we'll end up with Sam Fender at every um Phil Jeffries show. Because oh, I hope so. Uh, to I be fair, that would be work. entertaining. It just doesn't work. I it's, think a it's, show. Show. it's a boxing I'll show, not a boxing show. I would have two music slots join an event. I would. What one at the start and one at the before? The I'd, I'd have one around the third fight, Jack. Carl's got the fishing yeah. rod out. Why don't we just have a? And then I'd have one just in... before the co-main event, like tonight, just to whip the fans up. Why don't we just have them in in the minute between rounds? That'd yeah, work, that's wouldn't a good it? Idea. Yeah, yeah, great. I think yeah. Uh, Carl, you've got enough fish to feed your team now for your the family. Yeah, he's had a fish supper now. Yeah, he's getting enough bait there. All I'm going to say is it was a great performance by Tom tonight and it added to the event. <laughs> shit. That's what it, it was. was like. Anyway, back to back back to let's get let's make some sense of the show again. Um well let's um, not talk Mikhail, judges then. Michaela Mayer, Alicia Boomgardner, a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant fight. Um and Francis and me were, were kind of scoring it as we were going along. I'm sorry, I have to say the judges got it wrong. I feel it is right. I, I had Mayer winning, personally. I think you could argue six four for either fighter. No, See, I no, I, I don't Mayer. agree with you there, Francis. Listen, right. Look, what if you watch our fight again tomorrow when it's on mute? For one, Sky was selling it for, for my yard. I, I don't know why. Mute, by the way. Did you? I never listened to um, commentary, mate. I never but listened. if you watch this, unless you footwork, her head move was a lot better. Mayer was admitting an awful, awful lot. And I mean it off a lot. She also she's, don't get it wrong, she was coming forward a lot more, but coming forward doesn't win you a fight. Alicia's defence was brilliant and she's catching a clean, no, bad yeah, shot. The thing is though, Francis, a defence might have been okay, but she wasn't getting inside enough to throw shots. Boom, and, uh, you know, Mayers, I thought she was winning though. When they, when they were having a rare exchange on the in-charge, Alicia had this well, faster hands and the clean shots. I, I, I agree with you. When she when she did get inside, Boom Gordon was, but, was winning the exchanges, but the problem is... I just don't, I don't like. I can't argue with Mayer getting it all unless you're getting it beyond you. I could argue six four either way. I think you can get a good point. But yeah, I had it I don't, six four Mayer. I just don't believe like what the Sky was trying to sell. Like it was a one side dominant win for Mayer. It wasn't. You could argue that unless you didn't deserve it. I had it. I'll tell you. In fact, I won't name the referee. There's a professional referee. wasn't 
it, at the um, thing who was scoring it tonight, and he's put it out on social media uh, on what did he have it? Media. And, um, well, Jack, if he's put it on social media, Jack, if, he, if, if, he, so, if he put it on I mean, social media, you may as well name him because he's out there. No, because he's put it on his Facebook, <laughs> not on Twitter. Do you, do you like I said, Alicia Ray, throughout the 10 rounds, she had the cleaner, more effective work. She did. She may have had uh, less uh, frightening punches coming forward. She wasn't... Her footwork was brilliant. Her head movement was brilliant. A lot of my shots were missing. And a lot of fans sit there and watch a fight, well, listen to the commentators and see that fight. I could argue. I wasn't disappointed when uh, unless you go, but I could. I wouldn't argue if you got six four. I think you got yeah, good so angle. Too, too easy in the sidebar from the state says 96, 94 Either way was fine in his opinion, but a draw was what he perceived. Uh, yeah, you could. It's just definitely a rematch, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's they a should, rematch in that. Yeah, it should be. There should definitely be definitely a rematch, but I it's mean, not a robbery. One of the, one of the judges it's not had a robbery. It. No, I, I one of the judges had winning. But I don't think it's a robbery, robbery. One of the judges had it, had it four rounds to 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 Maya, which was wrong. No, that was t that's shocking, Scott. Yeah, yeah four, that's, the four, that's what I mean. The the wide card was what I had a problem. Did I argue two rounds for either? I could have won it. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, see, you I can't argue with that bit. That ninety six, ninety four. Some of them rounds are really close. When it's what you liked in the round, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, you could argue right, for both yeah. fighters to win that round six. Yeah. Like, if you I, hear, I hear what you're saying. You, you I, could, argue I, I hear what you're saying. You could, you can make an argument when rounds are close. Yeah. But but for me, as soon as the, the first two rounds were over, Maya got into a groove and a jab was doing all she needed to do because Is she boxed. Groove. I think the both. I think Maya boxed brilliant. She did, but I do believe that she's underground for what she kept of. Um, yeah, I do. Think so. did, you, did you not watch? Did you not watch? Did you not believe like my was listening, missing a lot of stuff that looked like in London? Because I did. Yeah, no, no, she, no, she did, mate. No, but, she missed a lot. Even but she when also she was mid a lot, it was, it was a weird one. And it's like yeah, a judge could be sat there. A judge could be sat there. Those scorn, like Alicia's scorns, clean, effective punches. You know what I mean? There's no doubt those scorn punches. A judge could be sat there when there's them close rounds. It'd be like, like that more than the work rate. Yeah, I, I don't think, think it was great night for the objective scoring again think. that made it look like. The way it has. I don't think it was a great night for the British Boxing Board to control judges, do you, in front of the world? No. Not, no, not for that fight, no. No. But if there was going to be a robbery, it was just Marshall won, that would have been a robbery. She wasn't in the shelf for winning that fight, do you know what I mean? Where See, she actually, was in the I, shelf. Had quite, I had it closer than most people. Did you? Yeah. Um, Give her three rounds. I think Marshall three rounds, that's not a push. Um, hang on, I will. I will get my. She won seven big. She won round seven big. I think. Well, I, 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 I thought Shields. I thought Shields was very classy tonight. I thought Shields. Shields was a level buff. She was a level buff. Ninety six, ninety five to Shields. And how I much? I was one point five. Yeah, one point five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was on a group call with a um, with a couple of people watching it, and they um, one of them had it ninety six, ninety five, five to Shields, and the other one had it ninety five, ninety five, uh, ninety six, ninety six. Seven yeah. rounds of three. I'm telling you, no, it's easy. Seven rounds of three. You can easily nag eight rounds until. I've actually well. seen a scorecard from a um, fighter that had Marshall winning, which I don't really understand how you could do. But that. this is another. It's for me like it's another way of also saying like the fans need to stop buying it at the end hype about everyone. But do like, you know every, what? everybody, the everybody had Marshall winning if I knock out. Do you know what I mean? She might be this big monster puncher. She'll sort of put the first one two rounds and still beat the coverage. Scorecard that I saw that had Marshall winning was an American. Someone had Marshall winning, that. Yeah, um, an American fighter. I can't remember who it was. Oh, had that's Marshall bad. Winning is Carl, let, let, Let's let's have one. Let's have one of us talking at a time because it's getting a bit lost here. Um, Carl, you've got to give Shields props here because I don't think anybody expected her to fight the way she fought. No. I'll be honest with you. I don't think any after that fight. I don't think any version of Savannah Marshall beats Clarissa Shields. She doesn't. Just, That's the fact. That's the I fact. Never all said it though. I, I mean, don't think she's got the answers. I mean, That's Shields can change that game plan and make it a lot easier fight. You know, she could dance for a short ten rounds and make it really easy. She could come in here, prove a point to Britain and to Marshall about this power. That's what she stood there for ten rounds for, and it's still I mean, really convincing. She Shields has clearly got. Um, a really, really good chin because she had. She did say after that Savannah Marshall's. You couldn't say really, could she? Really big puncher. Marshall but is a big puncher, isn't she? The, the rounds. I, th I think. I think the rounds were close. 
they were competitive, but Shields was getting the better of every exchange. Yeah. She's so starting it and finishing it, wasn't she? Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? She's starting the argument and finishing the argument. She, like Marshall's holding her own sometimes in the middle of the argument, but she's never ending it. And yeah, it was it, it was a great fight because like, every round was close. She'll never be able to change her footwork the same as Joshua Jose with to beat Shields. It's just not happening. The style Shields the has very good has better footwork than even I realised. And I've watched Shields' footwork is brilliant. Shields fights. You don't you don't um, clean up three divisions until Olympics and have good footwork. I, I, I always knew she had good footwork, but I I literally tonight realised how she basically has world class footwork. And that. Um, I thought she was class as well, riding shots. I thought she oh, was I mean, she's, br she's brilliant. Like she uh, defense. I think she was on top form tonight, but she can box better than that by making it easier, like in and out. She, she doesn't stand and fight like that normally. She come yeah. in through a fight. When she when she went back onto the ropes, she nearly cost herself at times because she, when she went back onto the ropes, she basically used her own and I say she nearly cost herself, but she actually was able to just avoid the shots. If she'd got herself caught, she would have got in trouble. I don't got a good bottom the, the, the thing is, though, Jack, in a Jack way. the thing is, she did get herself caught a lot. A lot yeah. of those shots, shots from Marshall were landing. The bouncing off her? Shields' his chin was, was great. Yeah. The bouncing One off thing her. I think, I don't know if uh, you guys agree, but, you know, uh, I think tonight showed that Peter Fury is not the trainer that, that a lot of people make oh, out. Oh, that's you know? a bit odd. No, I disagree with that. I you, you know, a bit really odd, odd, dude. Dude. I, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Sean, 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 Sean what, yeah, go ahead. What would you, what, what, what could Peter Fury have done differently with, with what he had in the middle of the fight? Yeah, I don't think tonight's necessarily the uh, right point to make out, but I, I think, you know, it, it, it highlights that the perception he has in boxing is he's one of the world's best trainers, but I just he's don't not know. not like, I don't, I, I agree he's not. Yeah, I'm, I mean, you've seen it in the past. Yeah, uh, uh, you've seen it in the past with uh, Sh with uh, Shuey Fury, you know, and and you know, um, I just think his reputation as a coach is totally overrated, really. To be honest, yeah, Tyson Fury's made a reputation for the full family. Yeah, look at the high ground, Tommy. Are we forget? Are we forgetting the master the master plan that he put in place? No, he's a brilliant coach, mate. He is a brilliant coach. Are we but... forgetting as well how much he's changed and made April Hunt about? Yeah. What's Marshall done different tonight than she did in any of her fights? Yeah, but to be fair though, Francis, but going into the fight, you wouldn't have thought that Savannah Marshall had to do anything different, would you? Well, at, that, at that level, mate, as a coach, you've got to know that your, your opponent could have just changed. Like, that's what Shield's done. She changed the Rifter game plan up, didn't she? Everyone thought yeah, she was going to change their game plan. Why would... I... I don't None of us expected that's... Shields to do what she did tonight. Perhaps I don't think. I don't think the, the, there won't be many people that thought Clarissa Shields could take Savannah Marshall's power. I told you that a long ago, mate. And she yeah, and did. she did and she did. I told so, you that a long ago. Be an easy fight for her. I did. But but Savannah Marshall punches really really hard. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's a known fact. She punches yeah. really really hard, right? She landed clean on Clarissa Shields tonight on numerous occasions, and she and Shields took the shots. No, Peter Fury can't have predicted she would take them shots the way she did. No, hundred percent. She can't hundred percent. But did uh, Savannah Marsh have a plan B tonight? Probably not. Or was it, well, was it War Falls seeking to strike for ten rounds? No matter what's yeah. happening. That's, but that's a start. That's a style, mate. Yeah, it's yeah, a style, mate. But look at um, Robert Cracken. He even changed Joshua in the rematch for Ruiz, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? A good coach. Uh, don't get wrong, Peter Fury is a brilliant coach, but he's not up there the best. I think in this country... I think he's uh, probably the best coach in the UK. No, nah, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie uh, Mill's up me, there. he's the best coach in the UK. Jamie Mill, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, Jamie Moore's great. Jamie Moore. Jamie Mill, I'm telling you. And Carl Reeves is up there as well. Jack, the point that people make about Peter Fury going and putting the master plan together to beat Klitschko... Yeah. You know, I'd argue Jamie Moore could probably have done that with Tyson Fury as well. Tyson not only that, I'm, not, I'm more fighter. impressed with what he's done with the likes of Not only that, mate. Let's Fury's be honest. What, was it actually Peter Fury or was it Tyson Fury? Because Tyson Fury's got the IQ of it. Any boxing expert on, do you know what I mean? Because arguably, he doesn't need a course of tactics. He just needs one to motivate him. 
People forget yeah. as well, Huey Fury trained Tyson at the start. Not as in Huey yeah. Fury, as in Huey's yeah. uncle. Yeah, yeah. He's it's a good coach. A in his own right. Well, Tyson Fury drifted around a few coaches, didn't he, to be honest? Yeah, Tyson Fury, Fury's it's... uncle was his main coach as an amateur as well. And he, he was one of his... Like... He also had a How bit of time as well. How many fights have there have the ability to adapt in a fight? Who he does that tells you how good his IQ is a Britain boxing. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? So what what the, the, that, that probably answers this the the Savannah Marshall question, really though, Francis. She couldn't adapt. She, she couldn't adapt. Do you know what I mean? These levels, she's world class, but Shields is elite. That's what I said There's to you. Yeah. Two yeah. fighters in the world who can adapt mid fight. One being Loma Fury Ch and the other one being Lomachenko. Other than Lomachenko, that, who's that good? Oh yeah, Crawford. Terence Crawford could. There's a few, to be honest, Crawford, but there's not many, Crawford, and that's a separate Crawford, them. Crawford yeah. doesn't need to adapt because Crawford's never had to adapt. It'll be interesting when he fights Spence, and he will have to adapt. Yes. He he adapts think, at the start of fights, but he doesn't adapt mid in them. I've said a few years. Honestly, Crawford will stop Spence. Yeah, I I think Crawford beats him, but that's, he, that's he's, he's elite. He's elite. Like, oh, yeah, Carl, do you want great. to pick? Carl, do you want to pick a couple, couple of the comments up in the sidebar? Yeah, so my cause says good evening, Mike. She was a completely different fighter from when she fought Cozin. That would be obviously Shields. Yeah. He goes on to say Shields just had her back against the ropes too much for me. Marshall was gassed by the end of round four and then found her second win in round seven. And then Tweezy says it baffled me how Marshall did not use her jab more. The people realise. Just one minute, Francis. Um, considering her size advantage, instead instead choosing to trade on the inside, which she lost every exchange. And then Larry Liston said, "Unanimous decision for Shields, exactly as I thought." There we go. The people realise how tiring it is, though, to like box someone who's hitting you that often and that and that, that good moving. Why you're trying to avoid them and trying to hit them back? That alone is exhausting. She was yeah, tied yeah. up in round four, but she showed that out still. She, you can't take that away from Marshall tonight. She's just Everyone out of the day. I will say, though, I, will, in the nose. I, will, I will say, um, Peter Fury did say to her, you don't need to be bouncing about as much as you are doing, using way too much energy. She was. She was. She was, a... she was fighting. I, I thought she was fighting quite nervously, Francis. I think she knows, she knew how clever Clutter Shields was, to be honest with you. And when uh, that first minute or first two minutes, she realised what the chance she had ahead of her. It's what, it's, she, she's not a 17 year old kid anymore, is she? Do you know what I mean? It's a big difference. It's a different game now. She's been there in these big nights and come out on top of, time and yeah, time yeah. again. It was Marshall's first big night in Andal Andalun, something like that. Yeah. So Larry That's Listen right. says, do any of you guys think that Cambosis might take the fight closer? As he looked I very think skilled. No, I, I actually think. Oh, that he oh, might oh, oh. Get out. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Cole read the comments out. So I'll start again. Does any of you guys think that Cambosis might make the fight closer as he looked very drained at the way at the way in? I feel like this fight will be closer. Yeah. Um, will be a welcomed upset to shake up the division, but let's see. Uh, oh no! So he meant Amy looked drained at the way. Amy did look tight at the way. I thought the they both looked changed. Yeah, they, they both looked changed. With 20,000, you yeah. rehydrate, it's a big difference. Yeah. It'll affect them in the last four or five rounds, not early. Amy still, Amy still scores him over 12 for me. Yeah, 100%. Haney, Haney will beat him. I, I actually think Haney could shut him out. I, I yeah, yeah. Well, he, he did so first time, right? The more well, you he, listen to Haney and the more you watch him, he genuinely could be the next line mill for America. His, his somebody, defensive skills are unbelievable. The other day, the more you listen to him, he genuinely could. He's got the brain and the, he's level-headed. He's got skills. He genuinely can, could be the next big thing. Like, like, like him or Shakur Stevenson for me. Do, do you know what's really impressive, Francis? Is that cool he is under pressure? That's what I mean. Me for a kid as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? How many kids have got to Australia and do that and then defend it there? It must be so frustrating to be in the ring with him because you can't hit him. You can't yeah, nail him right. down, can you? And, and not just that, it's, it'd be more frustrating the fact that no matter how much he's due, it doesn't, it, cause he's, not gonna, he's not a puncher, is he? No. So you're getting peppered all night long, aren't you, for 12 rounds? Why are you missing? You'd rather get knocked out. 
he's a very uh, articulate as as well. So you, you know, um, I, I think a, a lot of boxers maybe disrespect him, but you know, he gives it as good as he gets. So I'll tell you I, what. I'll probably I'll tell you what I, bet they, I bet they have a band on in the morning. <laughs> I think he, I think he'd be like handy to get appreciated more as his crew goes on, and people realise how good he is. The more he goes on, do you know what I mean? He's making big fights look easy. I'd love to see him against Lomachenko next. Yeah, like, I was about to say I want the Lomachenko fight because that just makes. He's my favourite fighter of all time, Lomachenko. But he's uh, aging, isn't he? He's probably one of he's one of two that I'm so proud to have seen live. The other one being Canelo. That's yeah, it's good to see. Seen Those that, are the that. two that I've seen live that I go. Like people are going to remember them. If he beats Lomachenko, you can see it. Yeah, I mean, schoolboy, the, there's thing, a schoolboy yeah. error in the sidebar. So my call says the only fight happened this morning at four a.m. No, that was a design card. Definitely never. No, that that was the. Oh, that was a design <laughs> card. Like I'm just saying. Michael, I, know, like, oh, I was trying to. I was trying to make uh, remember who the main event was because I watched it and it was a one round blowout. Of course, live and half an hour the show, didn't it? Any show? Yeah, one AM, yeah. He Maloney. was ahead of town. Maloney um was the main event. What's that for? Uh this morning. Oh, it was a box on this morning. It's, 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 um, Mike, if it's if it's already been on, mate, what was the result? Let us all know. Okay. I'll get it. Honey by twelve rounds, I'm psychic. We'll see. <laughs> he might have been sent back from town, but I'll tell you so. You never know. In all serious, uh, one on that card this morning. Did you see this? The old Sky Nicholson fight. I think she's really good prospect. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. she win the Commonwealth title or something? Yeah, yeah. Because somebody, uh, I, I missed that fight, and somebody men mentioned it, and I was like, oh, kind of wish I'd seen that. It didn't. It didn't make me smile though, because I was doing a big interview with Eddie Earn about his first design card in Australia, and, and the first one that came out of Eddie Earn's mouth was. Yeah, we've had to take Sky Nicholson to Europe to get her some good, decent sparring. Wow. What's your thoughts on there, Conor Ben? Oh, God. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Francis, you're a very outspoken fella. I want to hear what your thoughts are on Conor Ben. Yeah. Seriously. Up until this, I thought he was a real deal. I liked him a lot. But how can you have estrogen in your body? Do you know what I mean? He's not female. He can't have a baby, can he? Answers on a postcard? How has he got around his body? These people, especially when you're this high profile, like Conor ben, ben is and superstars of that, and you're getting looked after, all these uh, promoters and that, they know exactly what they're eating. You have a team around them who knows everything. Nothing gets past them. Nothing, do you know what I mean? So, unless it's been like a mixed up uh, drug test when it's got someone else by an accident, he's guilty, isn't he? Or like, it's been in a, in a, like a contaminated container or something. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Unless yeah. it's been that, he's guilty. You can't. These have proper. It's not. It might be different. Someone like me, who's low level. Do you know what I mean? Where I could make just eat something. Knock, like I don't read the rule book. Have you? I didn't give a fuck. I just want to fight. But these do. These know everything inside out. They have a team around and know everything. That would knock up Sims Canelo. The draw, the cheat man. It wouldn't get past them. It's not a chance, especially estrogen. What's right, the one thing with the Canelo thing, right? Is literally millions of athletes across sports. In Mexico, have all pop for the same thing. That Jim's known for it, though, isn't it? No, 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 no. Hold on a minute. It, it's a known fact that farmers in 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 certain parts of Mexico use. Yeah, I know because it makes the cows bigger, doesn't it? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So it's because so I um I actually got told if I because we looked at going to Mexico on holiday, and at the time I was still an active um, athlete, so I was on all the stuff and. And they actually told me, do not eat steak when you're in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like, because it, you, they were like, if you got a random drug test or we call you up to a competition and you pop with clenbuterol in your system, that's going to be really, really hard that's to explain. That's fair enough, mate. But if you know that, you can't tell me Canelo didn't get told that. Or doesn't look at what he's eating. Well, this, this is like you said, Francis. He's got, he's got people looking after him, hasn't it? So it's an easy, it's an easy yeah. argument for him to make. Oh, well... Clearly, I've had some beef that 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 I thought was clean, yeah. and, it, and it's come from Mexico, and it wasn't. You know, it's an easy excuse to make, but it doesn't matter. He still shouldn't have been eating it. But, 
Yeah. What explain what explains going up and down middleweight up and down the way so like terminating bullying like big heavy man? Uh, what Christ, explains that? Exactly is that? I don't actually know. Uh, so, <laughs> went from flyweight to weltweight. He's uh, taking body shots for uh, cut all telling me my harder. Like what explains all this man when it went uh, perfect and people's ear drums and that from a flyweight. Right? Can you? Could you jump up and down weights if you wanted to? I did. I boxed from flyweight to super bantam. But I'm telling you now, I couldn't pay for it. Yeah, I, say, like, I knew you went up to. Um, did you go? Up it's to hard. I knew you. I don't know what anyone did it. Yeah, I don't believe you can do it as much. You can do it to one or two divisions, depending on your talent. You know what I mean? Like Lomachenko, people like that. Yeah. But when you go for flyweight to weltweight, or what um, Alvarez has done, you can't do that and perform that good unless you get getting help from something else. I mean, you know Roy I mean? Jones did, didn't he? He went middle all the way up to heavy. But you've never the same again, was he? By, by the way, guys. Drugs, they, by so. the way, guys. Allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly, sorry, yeah. But was Roy, Roy Jones was never the same, was he? After he boxed a heavyweight once, he's never the yeah, same. Very true. I don't think he can go back down. <laughs> well, that's what Canelo does, doesn't he? Yeah, that's what I don't understand is how he. Yeah, but oh, like, yeah, hold on though, Canelo's not gone back down, has he? He's not, not gone yet. back down. He's stayed, well, yeah, at, no, he's he stayed at super middleweight. He went to light heavy once before. <laughs> Only once. Only, only one fight. Been twice in his career, then. Seeing the way he walks around the outside of him, though, he looks like fucking the Hulk. He loses some beef for fight him. It's obviously not fat, is it? No. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, body. Larry listening to the side says, um, I'll use the word allegedly again, Roy James was also busted for steroids. I I think I just said that. And that, yeah. that wasn't allegedly. He actually did um, properly fail a test. Listen to Nate Diaz, they're all on it. Um, yeah, so he, that, that on one it. you don't have, he can't sue you because he, he genuinely did cop for that. Do you know what I mean? They're I all on it. story behind it, but yeah. He, I, I, hope, I, I hope you're wrong, Francis. I hope you're wrong. I do, but I don't think you are. I hope, I'm, I hope he's wrong, but... It's a spot I love, mate, and I don't want to believe it. I think I there's been... I don't believe that there's that many people on it. I think there's very few fights at the top level, the superstars are not I, I could probably put me under that. I don't think Floyd Miller had to touch anything. By the I way, don't, I don't want to believe it, mate. I, I don't. I, I, I don't want to believe because like he said this. I don't want to believe that top athletes are on it, especially boxers, because of how dangerous the sport is. I definitely don't want to believe that that Conor Benz took anything knowingly. I hope it comes out that it's that it's a tainted sample. But but why is it taking three weeks to do a statement? Yeah. My question is. How are they going to prove it's a tainted sample? You can't. You can't. And how long has it been in the system for? I forget how many opponents. Well, Hopefully. It's set Chris yeah, Van the, here. The problem, is, the, the problem is he's always he's always signed up for VADA. Um, and he's never popped before. So that's true. He gets, well, he, gets, top... he, gets he gets this one test in, in August. And it and it comes back as a positive. He then gets tested um, weeks before the fight, a couple of weeks before the fight, and he and it's negative. Although allegedly, according to the, is it the Mirror or the Mail? Mail that popped a, previously for the same substance. No, the the, the problem is they, they, they they haven't proven that they haven't proven that, mate. Things with signs like I've been. I'm going to say it, this allegedly happened anyway. I was sat in a room with the head, a top, top Trevor and Christian condition coach, a world, world champion. Once say to someone that you, you can take blood out of the system, refrigerate it while you drug them up. When the fire test is ready to come in, put the refreshed blood back in the body, and that's how you get around it. Just loads of ways around it. Well, have you ever seen the Lance Armstrong documentary? Yeah, mm. that's exactly what he did. There's ways around it, mate. And these top scientists, these top nutritionists are like, into science, stuff like that. I don't know. I hope, so, I, hope, I hope for the sake of boxing, because we, we, the difference between boxing and cycling is is night and day. Yeah. A cyclist, cycling, like a death. cyclist, isn't, getting off, a cyclist isn't getting off his bike and punching another man in the face. Yeah, exactly. It's like a death, isn't it? You put it's, your life in the line set the room? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just not on, mate, is it? So, are you not actually kind of bent up? I like him. I like his fighting yeah, style. Yeah, I, 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 um, I just hope for the sake of boxing, whether whether you like Conor Bill or not, I hope for the sake of boxing 
that this is this all gets gets sorted out because if it doesn't, I fear for for where this takes British well, boxing. Are really, are we're really going to go down down to the ball, if Have if a, he's guilty, right? If he's yeah. guilty, British boxing has to do one thing and one thing only: ban him ban for him. life. Send a statement out: ban him for life. He's a massive name. Ban him for life. Send a statement and, uh, out. For you know, you know, because of because of all this this art crime is art crime. There's lots and lots of top boxers um, that have 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 already made the decision whether they think he's he's guilty or not. That's up to them. That's that's their that's their. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I actually you? haven't. I haven't. So I just want to know how can you get a spin in your body? Lots and lots of top boxers that have made their opinion up and they think he's guilty, right? What no one seems to have have jumped up and down on is the promotion. What? Why? What, why were Matchroom and Waterman still pushing for the fight to go ahead? Was it Eddie Anders corrupt as the goal? Why were they still pushing for the fight to go? Yeah, but it, but but, surely so they, it was Sauland as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wasserman, yeah. Wasserman boxing, Sauland's, whatever you want to call it. They were still pushing look, for the fight to go ahead, knowing. Look at the both set of names. Ben Eubank, it's a multi million pound event. Doesn't matter the talent, I'm sure. We're talking about, it's about the, the pennies. But we're talking about the, the, the health of, of, of two boxers here. We're not. Um, and let's, let's be right. Let's be right. This, this is these are two names, Ben and Eubank, that have both had serious controversy and, and serious fights in the careers where people have come out of it mm -mm. In, in a really bad way. That you've got you've got the two dads had obviously the controversial fights, and Chris Jr.'s had one as well. Exactly. Yeah. Exa exactly. So even more reason. Why, as soon as, this, as soon as this result come through, they should have straight away, straight away, any earn and what and wasn't and boxing should have should have come out and gone. The cards, the, the, the fight's being postponed until we know what's going on. The truth so is, what, oh. the truth is <laughs> that obviously they had a meeting in the two weeks ago. They gave the all the medical information over to the to Calisal and he took it to his medical experts. They did a load of analysis on it. It was deemed that whatever he put into his system wasn't performing performance enhancing. It wasn't high enough level. So obviously, there's that much money involved in this event that they decided to go ahead and try and get it through the British border, British border border control. That's the truth of it. It's all so that basically, if that's so the basically, case, Carl, to... Carl, if that's the that's... case, why is why is Chris Eubank Senior coming out and saying they tried to kill my boy? Yeah, well, he I, he never fancied the fight yeah, anyway. Did he never fancied in black and white. In black and white, basically, what they've done for a couple of weeks is try to pick up the crack to see if they got the money still. Simple. And if anybody out there who loves boxing or done boxing thinks that these people put these shows on care about the fight yourselves, they're wrong. Yeah. It's simple. They're all about that. It's a multi-million pound event. Although, yeah. it's there not about the yours. managers on that card who wanted the card to go ahead for the simple fact that their fighters don't get paid otherwise. Well, it's a multi-million pound event. We're not talking about the undercard here, are we? No, but yeah. I'm, I'm saying there will be away managers and home managers who will have supported that decision because it will have been mentioned to them. One of, one of the biggest problems that's gone under the radar for me, uh, I mean, I'm I'm sure you boys have seen it, is this Dr. Usman fella because um, mm. I don't know if yes. you've seen the podcast that he's on. Yeah. Well, see what uh, Conor Ben's been buying the gifts, honey. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's absolutely uh, unbelievable. I mean, you know, the, I promise, I promise, you, all, I promise yeah. you all now, fight his house and not a priority in boxing, it's money. Yeah. That's all matters. That's that's and very it. sad, Francis. That's very sad. It's, that's it's, that's in black and white, though, mate. A lot of people won't admit that, but that's the truth. It's very not sad. About you know. I, I, I agree that the, the majority, you might find the majority of promoters may look like that. There are certain promoters and certain managers in boxing uh, and you'll know yourself, Francis, because you manage you. Oh, Paul Reeves, Reeves, yeah. Paul Reeves Reeves always, 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 always puts the fight first. He had, me, he had me staying at his house and not after fighting a car. He did like things he didn't need to do. He paid for my license a few times. Like, he genuinely does care about you. Um, he treats you like your mate as well. He's a good man. But there's not many of them like that around. Paul Reeves, the promise, yeah. 
You know why that is though, as a promoter, because Cargo's been there and walked that path, hasn't it? As a fighter. When our box, yeah. Who did our box? I think it was rather Usman Hammond or Paul Edwards. When I took that fight against them, uh, Frank Maloney promised me the fight. That, remember that midget I was boxing? The well, the smallest boxer. He's a stuntman or something. There's loads hype around him. I was promised that fight the next fight. If it's long as I took this fight, I took the fight. Never end up like what the next one. Never got it. They don't, they're um, all sharks, man. Carl don't Greaves, run Carl. He's a great guy, though, money. Is a yeah, matchmaker. Yeah. If you phone Carl Greaves up, the first thing he'll say to you is, I'm not going to commit to it. Let me check my diary. Sign it. And there's two people in boxing that are like that that will just say, look, let me check the diary. If the diary's fine, you can have you can have it with away boxers. Him and Curtis Gagano, and both of them are ex-fighters. I mean, there's other never, fighters that are great like that. I never ever... I never ever messaged Carl once, like asked him for a fighting card, message back saying, let me, he'll start, it was done. No, but as an away, as a home, like as a matchmaker, sometimes I ask for specific people. So, oh, yeah. So, for example, I also, if I yeah. ask for Pons Alexander, he will say, let me check the diary. Yeah, and fair. Then, yeah. There's actually a third one, which is Glenn Banks, will do the same thing. Those three will, no matter what, and they'll get back to you within three, four hours. You, you'd never, and sometimes obviously they have to say no because the person's out, but they always get back to you quick. Some managers leave you on hold forever. <laughs> yeah, parts of them. Money works. Money works a well club on most this boxing world, doesn't it? All the world. But there's that's some, are great, some are great, some are not. I, you know, it's boxing, but. Uh, my core in the sidebar is uh, is said the same as you, Jack. Uh, he says, what about all the money the undercard fighters spent out um, of their own pockets in preparation? I completely agree, Mike, but the card was a, was a pay-per-view. Uh, it was sold off of the Eubank name and the Ben name. And if that fight gets pulled, but the card still goes ahead, it bombs, don't it, as a, as a pay-per-view? They show. could have pulled it off pay-per-view. But, but who would have headlined the show though? Who would have headlined the show though? That's the problem. They who was they the co-main? I mean, they never uh, who had was the semi main? Semi main. Can anyone remember? Say that again. Who was the semi main? I can't remember who. It was. Uh, what's his name from Ben's from Ben's um, camp? Felix Cash. Felix Cash. He was the. Well, see, the as a normal show, non pay per view, that makes sense. It, but it does. It, it might make sense, Jack. But it doesn't make money. Well, yeah, that's what it it's about. Make a bit. Of, it would it's about the money. Even on that. It's about money. Though. That's a multi-million pound effect that at the end could, you could miss out on for good. It shouldn't even be boxing each of a man. It shouldn't even be insane. No, right? the, as a as fights go, it probably shouldn't have been made. The fucking, it's a joke of a matchup. I'm telling you, I'd be embarrassed if I match out me two fights like that. Differences. Tell them what to uh, be dehydrated and all that for the fight. It's I, just, I just want to point out, it wasn't the matchmaker. <laughs> so, um, sidebar, yeah. uh, um, comments in the sidebar, too easy to support. Um, Wilder versus Elias, what do you gents make of that fight? Wilder's getting charged for murder. Awful fight, isn't it? Wilder's getting charged for murder in about two rounds, Max. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna be nice. I'm going to give um, Hellenius till the third. <laughs> just yeah, just saw us spanked Elenis years ago and got robbed. Elenis is shite, I'm telling you. He's terrible. Oh, was that that stupid Chisora one where he, he basically won? But the European title was. Still, yeah. There's only I'm going, two. I, I'm, going Fury. A bit later. I'm, I'm going six. There's only Fury Joyce who's uh, in Joshua and give Wilder a fight, I'm telling you. The rest he just banged uh, away. You know, the worst, thing, the worst thing about it, Francis, is this is this is a. A mandatory fight. This is a mandatory spot fight. It's embarrassing. That's what I mean. It's embarrassing. It's a, it's a fine. It's an eliminator. Eliminator. Sorry. Right. For the final eliminator, isn't it? Frank Sanchez yeah. is better. Even, way, even so, I mean, even so, come on. We, we've right, said this on other shows. We've, we've said this on other shows. Why the hell is Deontay Wilder still sat at, at number two Question. in the rankings for the WBC? And as, as I said before, answers on a postcode. Uh, card i don't have the answer for that um is anyone else kind of like 
wishing they just get this one out of the way because they kind of want to see Ruiz versus Wilder. I do think Wilder well. wins, but I kind of want to watch it because it. I feel like it'll be interesting. You can argue that he might not, he might should have been number two still on the WCPC rankings, but who's worthy of going above him? Yeah, I know. Who's worthy of going above him? Josh has lost two fights back to back. He shouldn't be above him. No. Why yeah, coming off surely, off Francis, Joyce, surely, maybe? Francis, if you lose, if you lose your last two world title fights and the one previous to that you should have lost, but you got a draw, surely you've got no, to there was one in the pile. But one in the middle. you're right, you are right, mate. But he did lose to the undisputed best individual by a mile. Yeah. It doesn't matter, does it? And he does made he lose? made all the fights, all the fights were entertaining, weren't it? So, like, it's, yeah, it's, it might have been entertaining, but they were one side of the last two fights. But could you move above him in the rankings? Because Oog's the champ, uh, and a few of the champs, you know what I mean? there, top two. Oog, you put yeah, above, but, but surely he's, he's surely he's got a, he's got to build back up. You can't just say just because. Just because, in your opinion, other fighters aren't as good as him, then he stays at number two. Because then that's giving nobody the opportunity to push forward. Then um, you could get some like... I, t- I tell you who I, I would... Because if, he's, if, if he is better fight, than everybody Joe else... Joy. If he is better than everybody else, then, he, then he'll get back to number two quite soon, won't he? But he shouldn't so stay would you, there. Who would you put there above him instead? Joyce. Whoever's number three in the rankings. That's the who, way who, rankings work. Who is number, who is number, number three? three is, who? It was it was Who? Joyce. Who was it now? It, it was Joe Joyce, but because Joe Joyce won that final limit, because he won the uh, WBO the interim, isn't he? So he can't be. Does Joyce be Joyce be wild as a cracker? He's Andy Ruiz, isn't it, Carl? I no, he's not. And he, he's Frank Sanchez. So come on, Frank Sanchez. Which that's what I'm saying. Wilder's got to be number two. I wait. No, 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 no. What's the point in having a ranking system, Francis? Because then you get shit fights made for world titles like Joshua against some Charles Martin, right? Which shouldn't be in the world title ring or champion. Yeah, but that's well, down, to the, the, but that's down to the governing body. That's down and, to the governing. Get, and you also get the fans saying, why the fuck is Tyson Fury fighting blah, blah, blah? Because he's the number one ranked challenger, that's why. Because it's easy to get rankings by fighting Mickey Mouse titles and winning, beating nobodies. And you shouldn't even be ranked this high up and you're not good. The problem is that's not, down to, that's not down to the fighters, is it? That's down to the governing body for putting people in a position in a ranking they shouldn't be in. It's not, you can blame everyone. Really. At the end of the day, they've they've protected Deontay Wilder for the last forty fights until he fought Tyson Fury. Who did he fight? Who did he fight at any point that was world level? He tried to make the Joshua fight. He, he, that's not answering my question. Who did he fight? Oh uh, well, Tyson Fury that was world level in this in this generation. Deontay Wilder. They, well in, done. For, going for world level in this generation. Ortiz, you, probably could keep class Ortiz as well. Though, in this generation, the, the, no? fir, the first, the first, the first, he got that's how the that's how saying that's how poor the division is. That's how poor the division is. You know what I mean? That in this generation, he's probably well class. No, the point I'm making is, mate, he's not fought anyone at world level. If look at his look at his resume compared to Joshua's, look at his resume compared to. Even White, even. Yeah. Oh. Dylan White. Look, look at right, look resume. At, you have to take Wilder's resume oh, compared to Dillian White, Dillian White's resume, or compared to Anthony Joshua's resume. It don't come anywhere near. It's been protected by the WBC. You know, you Tyson the only reason he took that Tyson Fury fight was because he, he was coming off of losing 10 stone. Yeah, I agree. He thought it was going to be an easy night's work. But you don't think Josh is being protected? No. No, I don't. You don't. I don't know. He boxed, he boxed Clitter after a two-year layoff. He just of, course, well, of, course, of course he did. I don't, and that's very good promoting, isn't it? He got in the world title shots. Eddie Ernst and Ortiz up the people with him, him Joshua. So, go on there. Okay, Francis. So, in this generation of boxing, other than Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, name me a top heavyweight at the time that, that he could have fought him that Anthony Joshua's not been in with. Around at that time, that was at the level at that time. Apart from Deontay Wilder, and apart from Tyson Fury, Sh- name me an heavyweight at world level that that Anthony Joshua's not been in with. He probably has boxing more bit, but the that poor. Like, I don't class him as good opponents. That's, that's all I mean by it. Josh has been in 
you can only fight the people that's at, at, at the level in your, in your time. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And that's why I've always said Joshua is good, but he's not. He's never going to beat through. Do you know what I mean? It's levels to this game. No, of course he's no, no. no I'm not saying that. But, but but I'll go back to what I was saying then. So Deontay Wilder's not fought any of them. He's fought bums for the whole of his reign. Who oh, do you think will beat him? No, that's Joshua's fault. They might not beat him, but the the, the point I'm making is he hasn't even fought him. He's he been with Dillian White for three years. He's flat and white, though, wasn't he? But he didn't take the fight, yeah. though, did he? Because WBC no, no, he agree, did straight away, he, pretty much. I agree what you're saying. You're right, but he would beat the rest, though. Probably, but but right. the fact of the matter is he's not been in with him, so you can't say when would. People, when people say about the Joshua Klitschko one, right, and the two-year layoff, so if Joshua didn't fight Klitschko. Klitschko's fight would have been with the WBA regular champion because he was ranked number one. Do you know who that was at that time? Luke Klitschko Brown. retired, didn't he? And the Klitschko cut his semi-retired for five boss Joshua. No, so he was still ranked number one because he never officially retired. So he would have fought Lucas Brown for the world title. So are we saying we'd rather that after um, that Joshua waited and fought the winner of Josh uh, Lucas Brown versus Klitschko? Which, let's be honest, even at his absolute best was going to be... Um, uh, Lucas Brown's absolute best was going to be Klitschko. No. Because there's no way Cl Lucas Brown beats Vladimir Klitschko anyway. So oh, no, definitely not. We just, we just avoided that fight. And in uh, my view, the the uh, Klitschko that AJ beat was a better Klitschko than what Fiori beat. No. He definitely wasn't. Definitely no. wasn't. More like no, AJ no. made him look better. <laughs> That's a bad statement. AJ made him look better. It was life and death of an old man. He couldn't get knee through. That's fine. I've seen you swigging the beer, fella. Just slow down on that beer. For God's yeah, sake. slow down on that one. Uh, definitely oh, wasn't a better Klitschko. Klitschko, he anybody... hadn't been beat for 10 years. He had the unfinishable oh, It was in Germany. Now, this is an allegedly, because somebody told me this, Deontay Wilder had signed for the Lucas Brown fight when Brown was WBA regular champion and um, Wilder was WBC champion. And then Brown uh, had the thing with Chargiev, didn't mm -hmm. have the belt anymore, and um, went to get... Then it went to the whole legal thing and Brown looked like he was going to get the belt back. And Deontay Wilder decided he didn't want to do it because it was too much of a risk because of Brown's punching power. About three fights later, Dave Allen stopped Lucas Brown. Exactly. How does that make any sense? Carl, uh, this is this this topic sparked a bit of controversy in the sidebar. Do you want to read some of the comments? Sir? Scroll back. So, um, so we said you can't you can't say Wilder was protected. Turn around and say Joshua hasn't been laugh out loud. Uh, Mike says he's only fought Melina Ortiz, who come close. Larry Melina, Liston says, really? Larry Liston, Larry Liston said Joshua fought Charles Martin for the championship. Yeah, that, that is true. That was a gimme fight. Charles Martin was a can. Uh, Charles Martin is the worst heavyweight by champion. By the way, Charles time. Martin wouldn't have been world champion if Glashkov's knee hadn't blown out. And to be honest, Tyson, Anthony Joshua would never been well unless Fury got swift. Go on, go on, Carl. Carry on. Um, Joshua, Mike said Joshua has a better resume, hands down. Yeah. Larry Liston says he disagrees with that. Uh, I'm assuming that's about a point one of you guys have made. Um, and Therese says, and yet Wilder still sleeps Joshua any given night. I agree. Yeah, he does. I, I agree that, definitely. Wilder. He bangs him out in six rounds. Um, do you know who yeah. I'd really the fight I'd really like to see above all else for Deontay Wilder? And someone people are going to laugh and say this, that, and the other. Joe Joyce. Why would you laugh? Because Joe Joyce is a hard night's work for anyone, even Fury. Yeah, because he's hard night's work for anyone. And Joe Joyce has got some ridiculous chin which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. To beat Joyce, you're going to have to box disciplined at a very high work rate. Probably only Fury knows it can do for 12 rounds. Larry Liston yes. thinks Wilder versus AJ is a 50 50 fight. Yeah. Wilder, AJ, I'd go 60 40, Wilder. Even 70 40. 70 30, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, that's 110, mate. That, that I know, doing really the math on that. Even Andrea would add heavily 
I'd favour Wilder. Definitely. I would have. Um, I would have said about six, seven fights ago, it was a 50-50 fight. Joshua's not the same fighter that he used to be. And Wilder's got back to that. It's an easy night's work for Wilder. Does anyone agree with me that they'd like to see Joyce um, Wilder though? Yeah. 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 I, I think I, I would sit. I would genuinely get up at three o'clock in the morning and buy a pay per view for that. I'll tell you right now. God, I'll tell you right now what my opinion is on that fight. Sorry. I'll tell you right now what my opinion is on that fight. Bump. Joe Joyce sleeps. Deontay Wilder. It'd have to be late if it happened. It, it wouldn't be, be late, early. but yes, I, I think that's possible. Because I, 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 I think I'd like to see well, Joyce. Yeah, 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 yeah. on Joyce. Hey. How your opinions changed on Joyce over the last couple? Six months. Do you know why my opinions have changed on Joyce, though, Carl? Yeah. Because I've been screaming out for him to fight a world-level opponent, and he's fought a world-level opponent and proved himself. That's why my opinions changed. He's like a Terminator. He smashed Parker to bits. That's why my opinions changed. So, people's our, our opinions are allowed to change, you know. It's not against the law. I never said that. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Andy. I, I, my opinion on him changed, because I always thought he'd be too slow when he got to world level. No. All the 12 rounds he's never. One thing I will say, though, he will make Fury look like a superstar if the fight. He might. Yeah, because yeah, 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 Fury's all wrong for him. The only proviso I've got with Joyce is he can't keep going to the well. It, that, you know, it's, it's, it's wild that he could come and stuck up the well, like. He loads of wars, can he? The he could come and stuck in some wild powers, freak. The, the thing is, though, guys, he's been in with with what you have to call a world level opponent in Joe Parker. Yeah. Who it's very hard by the way. Did Joe Did Parker really point in that fight really, really hurt Joe Joyce? No. no. And he landed some big shots, right? But it's slow he grinds you down over twelve rounds. It's horrible. It's horrible face that round what, after right? round. Although I can't so make I can't make an argument for anybody having an easy night. Not even Fiore. The, the Fury don't him. Don't get me wrong. Fury is all wrong for Joyce. Yeah, but... I, I hear what you're saying, right? Because of his movement. I, I get what yeah, you're yeah. saying, right? And that's how he'd fight him. He'd stay out of the way. But yeah. there's only so much space in that ring. And when that, you, would mean Fury needs to, that would mean Fury needs to be moving constantly for 12 rounds. <coughs> yes. He can. He can. can he's, he? a he's a 15 round fighter. Under pressure. He's a 15 round fighter. Under pressure. Look at, the, look, at the, look at the look the NG he had in the twelve round of and his comeback fight against Wild when he's just been dropped by bomb. Yeah, but yeah, but let, yeah, hold on though, hold on, Francis. Look at the fight and look at look at the style and look at how Fury boxes. Because what he does is he boxes he, 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 stays in the pocket, he stays in the pocket and then he comes away and he'll move out of the way of the fighter and he'll, he'll take a breather. He does it really easy. That, that's his that's his boxing brain working. He does it really well. Joe Joyce isn't going to give him a second. Well, if Joyce hasn't got the footwear to keep with me, he hasn't. I promise you. He'll stay he'll, on him, though. He'll, he'll keep he'll walking stay on him, but He won't. I think what Fury do is he'll got similar stack tactics he used against Chris Jordan the first fight years ago. He'll do well for 12 rounds. He'll make an well, hard fight. I'm not, saying, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying he beats Fury, because I don't think he does, but over, I think he's, he's the fight that gives Fury his, his toughest night. Agreed. He's the most dangerous out there for anyone, for any opponent. Well, all the top ones, he's the most dangerous first. That's a fact. Uh, but but what get... Carl was saying a bit ago about he can't keep on going to, to the well. At some point, at some point, and it probably won't be against the biggest puncher either, at some point, his chin will fail him. It has to. Well, if he goes the distance against Wilder and wins or loses, Fury's not the biggest puncher, mate, but he's chin enough to do it, to be the man to do it. You say he's not the biggest puncher, but when he the size he is, Francis, he, he's still built. Epic, <laughs> epic air, epic air, it does. You know, look what he did to White. He's just not. He's just no one punch not got He's just like uh, Joshua uh, Wilder, but he's still told obviously tired. Told, told Dylan White that. <laughs> well, that up oh, foot, Jesus. Yeah. Or to be fair to White, like to be fair to White, White would move towards him as he threw that, which was pro probably multiplied the power as well, but. <laughs> it did nearly, it did nearly send him into the next, the shadow realm. But he was looking for that shot for a few rounds. He set him up perfect, timed it, bang, sleep. But like, like uh, white, but like <laughs> he did basically just go, he did just basically walk towards a shot. I that think 
always trying to throw. Well, I think Perfecto opened the door, didn't he? To his uh, white's front of the shot up, uh, coming up. I think I think somebody had already shown him that. Um, who was it? I tell you what, it, who it was? Marius Wack when he threw he threw it in Saudi, threw an uppercut, and it was the first time that Dillian actually. It was the only time in the um, whole fight you saw Dillian flinch. A and, good fight, a good quarter. Same thing. Cole, same thing. Cole, do you want to pick some of these comments up because they're flying in? Yeah, so um, Larry Liston says, um, Who has Joe Joyce beat? And he goes on to answer his Joe own Parker. question. You are in Parker. Mike Law says, um, He might not have the footwork, but he has a gas tank and the power and the gym. To we said, Sorry, all, I can't can't close close the space. All, I've, all I've got to say is this the overweight division. Um, Better thank the boxing gods. Usyk isn't a natural heavyweight. Boxing historian says simple facts is the top five evers are the best of a bad bunch. Um, this era is a terrible era. Agree. I, I think that's it. harsh on Fury. Fury could live in any era. Or any the great. The rest can't. Yeah, the rest can't. It's a poor era. Go on, go on. So. Yeah, Larry said Fury and Usyk could very well compete in the 90s. Yeah, um, I agree with Larry that. Larry Liston said Foreman and Holmes um, would get the pants boxed up by Fury. Larry Liston said... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just get through the rest, Andy, because you're flying in. Lewis would be the only guy to beat Fury. Boxing story says Fury possibly given his size, not Usyk in the 90s heavyweight area. Um, right, can I just answer that though? Usyk is the same weight that Tyson debuted at. And let, 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 let's also at say, him. let's also let's say, focus. let's also say, Jack, that you got to remember that the heavyweights of, of the past, the nineties, the eighties, the seventies, they weren't six foot eight, six foot nine heavyweights. No, no. so Us Usyk could live in that. This yeah, year, he could do. Year. Yeah. I just want to pick up on that one from Larry from Larry Liston saying that Foreman and Holmes uh, will get the pants boxed off and by Fiore. Uh, Holmes, no. Foreman maybe, but Holmes, he's serious, mate. He's a Ho top Holmes five. Box. Holmes is a top five all time heavyweight boxer. And also, which Foreman are we talking about? The Foreman in the seventies or the Foreman that came back in ninety four? You'd think the seventies, wouldn't you? Yeah, because if we're talking about fair, 75, it would, he wouldn't get completely boxed off. The one in the 90s, yeah, because he just looked for the big shot. The former in, this, the former in the 70s was quite robotic, though, wasn't it? A bit, a bit yeah. like a lot of people uh, put Blitz towards <laughs> Joyce. So Tyson Fury probably would beat him just because of his movement. Yeah, yeah. But Larry Holmes, it, Larry it Holmes was world Blitzko, class. Actually. World, world, world class. In, in my opinion, not there in the top five of all time. Who's this? Larry Holmes. Yeah. 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 To be honest, he, he could be in some people's top five. Um, what was I going to I was going to say, yeah, but I, 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 I actually would say Usyk can live in any era as well, up to a point. I think the only time Usyk wouldn't live in the era, ironically, would be that weird era that we got with the Klitschko's, where Valuev also had a belt for a little while, because... I don't see him beating either Klitschko and I don't see him beating Valuev because I feel Valuev was just too big. I know Hay beat him, but Hay had a ridiculous amount of power for being about a foot shorter than him. Just before we wrap up, Carl, do you just want to pick that boxing story in? Comment up. Which one are you talking about? Uh, the, uh, the, one, the third one down from, from the top. So he's put, oh, shut up, man. Fury and Usyk are completely different sizes. That's like bloody saying if Ben met Eubank Jr., they'd be the same way in that agreed catch weight, but didn't but didn't try me. What? Yes. Yeah, so, so I don't get how that's been, but he's obviously... He's, I think don't he, quite he, make sense. He's saying you can't really compare Fury and Usyk, I think. Well, yeah, but they're in the same weight division. I think what we're trying to say, boxing historian, is that if Fury and Usyk went, were, were fighting in the 
in the 90s era or the 80s era or the 70s era when you know when boxing heavyweight <coughs> boxing was was completely different and completely world class um we're saying that both of them could have competed because Usyk is is no shorter than the majority of the heavyweights from the mirrors and that's we, all, that's all we I think we say. worked out that he's roughly the um same weight as Tyson, Mike Tyson debuted at. So. Uh, and and just just box this story. If if your comments made sense, fella, I'd be able to read them out. But that last bit don't make no sense. Yeah, that 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 really didn't make a great deal of sense. I'll be honest. You made less sense than Carl there, and that's. Anyway, lads, I think that's quite a good time to to call it a night. Um, again, what a show for. For comments in the sidebar, everyone that's joined us tonight, thanks very much. Uh, always great to have your, your thoughts. Always great to have difference of opinions. Um, we're not trying to say that we're always right, because we're certainly not. Oh, I'm wrong um, 90% of the time, trust me. So uh, so opinions opinions really matter. That's what this show's all about. Uh, thanks for everyone joining us on screen again. Sean, Jack, Francis. I know you've gone, Francis, but thanks a lot, pal. Um, we're, not, we're not doing a live... Uh, this Thursday coming, but we'll be back the following week. Uh, but there will be a few bits and bobs dropping during the week to make up for it. Uh, but again, thanks for joining us, uh, and we'll see you next time we're on. Cheers, lads. Thanks, everybody.